Hello and welcome to the Business Spotlight Series, episode number 59. Today we're here in Artisan Picks Works with owner, operator, and artist, Larry Hart. Yes. How are you doing today, Larry? Pretty good. I actually made a sale. Yay! There we go. That's the best kind of day. Yes. Uh, and he is located right here on West Middle on the south side of the street, right across from Chelsea Burger and Zuzu's. Can't miss him. And uh, we figured we'd do this one in person today so you guys could check out some of the awesome artwork that he has going on in here. So before we start digging into the walls and going through everything, why don't you give us a little bit of background on your history and what brought you all the way here to Artisan Pegs Works? Well, I got interested in photography in high school. Now, I told people if you knew something about 30 years, <laughs> it's, it's good. That's been more than 30 years. Well, my, I've spent my career primarily as a writer. Then I met Sandra and we were living in Gross Point at the time, mm -hmm. and she, her dream was to start, or not dream, but she decided, we decided to start a yarn shop in Gross Point. Well, that was to be, I was supposed to work there for a couple of years, and then she was going to retire. Well, then the Great Recession hit, and through a series of moves, we moved to St. Clair Shores, then to Farmington, then to here. We literally had the world's worst landlord in Farmington. <laughs> I mean, to the point, I almost got in a fist fight. And I'm 5'6", I don't fist fight. <laughs> and we decided that we, our heart wasn't into closing it, which was what we thought was logical, because we messed around, messed around, never quite had a going out of business sale. Right. So one day we came up, drove out here just to go to dinner. Mm -hmm. And went sitting in Zuzu's, saw this place next door, and I kind of looked at Sandra and said, well, what do you think? She said, what do you think? I said, well, the worst thing that can happen is we move the business, move the Artisan Networks to um, Chelsea, the business fails, and we're stranded someplace we love. That's a good way of looking at yeah. it. Yeah, and so for about three or four years, until Sandra went into half-time at Wayne State, I did the day-to-day -day at, the, at the yarn shop when she went to Wayne, when she looked went on half time and mm -hmm. doing things through Zoom, she could be, be at the shop more. So I had the time finally to start this enterprise. And it started just as the pandemic got really deep. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, having a business background doesn't, doesn't help. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So all the pictures in here are mine. We also have bunches of doodads and mm -hmm. costume jewelry and um, pottery. And as I like to explain to people, I said, where do you find this stuff? I, it's everywhere from fancy little boutiques to, hey, Sandra, stop the car. I see something on the, over there on the side of the road. Yeah. I mean, literally, there's a couple pieces in here that were, I was walking down the road. There it was. That's and cool. the, one, the best one I've, was worth about 80 bucks so yeah. far. So, but primarily we're photography. We also have cards, which are all local. And... Yeah. Those are awesome. And any of the cards can be made into a print of any size you need. That's nice. And But we're mostly photography, and most of the pictures here are local, because I primarily decided that once I got here, I was going to explore and find out. Sure. One Saturday morning, I realized I was 12 minutes to opening, <laughs> and I was lost. So I put on my GPS and got here in 11 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was in the middle of nowhere. And I realized how many pictures there are to take here. So that's what we've been doing. Well, that's great. Well, let's uh, let's take a look at some of them. As you said, almost all of these are from Chelsea. Uh, this is a pretty awesome one right here. Now, what do they call this when they don't have the frame on them? Just a uh, ca canvas. Just a canvas, canvas. Stretch oh, canvas. Sweet. So, all right. So this one, right off the bat, when you told us earlier that these were all pretty much Chelsea, we said, oh, well, that I, I lived here for a while. I've never seen that before. But that is right here. Yeah, that's what blue, when blueberries go dormant during the winter. Mm -hmm. That's what they look like. And this was either December 1st or 2nd, right before the first snow. Huh. And you said that was on Beach Road? Beach Road. Yeah. Yeah, that's very cool. Um, this one's up on the lake near the Discovery Center. I can't, not Mud Lake, but one of those, Mitchell Lake. Okay. This is Z, This is Liberty. This is... Dexter Pinkney wrote. Oh wow! So just all around the area. Oh, I had a patch. You had somebody argue with me. <laughs> they said they saw that same cottage in England. Well, unless they moved Lima Center Road to England, 
They didn't. Yeah, or vice versa. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I doubt that that's what happened. No, they were probably just trying to convince you that you went to England, took that picture, and I, didn't yeah, remember. Yeah, that's that's yeah. my guess. Yeah. Uh, now, which uh, which one is this here? Is that one of the rivers around here? Is that one that's, of the lakes? That's actually the Grand River up near Mason. Oh, okay. The yeah. Last spring when it flooded so badly, oh, it's just okay. kind of very bank. Cool. This is flooded all the bank. The channel is right through here. Right. right? Yeah. So yeah. it's just swallowed really up flooded. the bottom of all the yes. trees and everything. And. Yes. And we were just talking about, you got the Eastern Bluebirds here. I love this one. Those are just so pretty. Yeah. And, uh, and what, is this just a sheet? Now, do you use a special kind of lens and stuff to be able to get those like nope, that? No, just a telephoto. Just telephoto. Yeah, and uh, sometimes I use a tele-extender because that, in effect, gives you a very long distance macro lens. Okay, all right. And, go ahead. Oh no, I was just going to say, I just love how the, the style seems to move around a lot. Like. Yeah. You're doing a lot of different stuff, you know. Obviously, lots of landscapes and whatnot, but like something like this, that's got quite a lot of uh, artistic, yeah, well, change to it. I mean, you've got kind of a color saturation and stuff going oh, on. Oh yeah, I played with that. I mean, that is out on Sacred Road in the middle of the summer. One field had been mowed recently and started to come back, and the other one hadn't. Yeah, and it was ready, ready to go. That's very cool. Now, where are you getting? Are these little juniper berries down here? Is that what those are called? I'm not sure what they are. I, they look like little tiny You're a photographer, not a horticulturist, yes. right? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Google <laughs> now has an app that um, makes it, you can actually take it, when you, when you get on your cell phone, you can take put, a picture. Take, take the picture and Google will find it, and it's really accurate. Yeah, that is crazy. I know my mom has that for the plants. I don't think I've got the right one because mine always just tells me it doesn't know. <laughs> so, and this is some of your pottery and stuff. Pottery that you and stuff. Have. Yeah. And are any of these from local merchants and whatnot? Uh, or you just kind of get them wherever you get them? Kind of get them wherever I get them. Very cool. Very cool. I like this teapot. Yes. Now, this one's one of my favorites down here. Uh, you said this was at Parker and uh, Sile Church. Right. Which, I've, you know, most people in the area will know because of all the birds. Um, you know, you see the swans there and everything else, but I just love the, the color you got out of this one, uh, the and sun. I'll and I'll give you a big secret. All right. And if you, because somebody actually knows that pond well, this is facing due south. Okay. Where do you get the sun facing due south? That's a, that's a Photoshop sun. Oh, okay. That's Otherwise, funny. it was just an ugly naked yeah. <laughs> okay, so you put the sun in there on the background. Yeah. That's funny. I like the blue along the horizon of the ground there, too. Yeah. That little, uh, whatever you want to call it, haze in yes. there. You got some more color saturation ones here. I like yeah. it. So do you do quite a bit in the afterthought of these? As sometimes. Far as, some, you know, it actually goes in streaks. Sometimes you get in a real groove of rocking the yeah. Photoshop when and you, other times. It's, it's like just, when you see it. Mm-hmm. This is sweet. Now, is this out on uh, Dexter Chelsea? Yes, that's the okay. old granary. Yeah, that's um, very cool. And actually, it's about a mile and a half from the blueberries. Okay, same day? No. Okay, <laughs> just, just a frequent spot. And these are two things on um, Workner. Oh, very cool. I love the black and white. Yeah. Something so weird about it just makes things look I don't know, elegant, if you will. Yes. Yeah, very cool. Now, oh, go ahead. Yes. Let me sneak past you here so you can show up. Uh. This is a kind of arty, fun one. This is in holly. And so what I did was, I took away all the color from everything but, their, but her face. Mm -hmm. And she, I see kind of spooky looking. You kind of did that with this one here too in the green. I really like this one. Now is that around town here somewhere? Oh, that's, um, that's the inside of the uh, granary. Oh, very cool. I like how you kept the green in color yes. there. Now, I see you put this one up in a nice big frame and put it up on the center. Does this one mean something to you? It means I have a frame that it fits. <laughs> there you go, man. I'm easy that way. Yeah, and, framing. You know, it just it looks like a painting. It does. And that's at um, where Sipes turns into line of center. Okay. It makes the curve. Yep. And I was out there this morning and it's just shooting like crazy. Oh, well, that's very close to me, so um, I'll, have to, I'll have to check that out. Yeah. It's funny because I feel like I could go to these places you're talking about, and I'm going to take a look, and I'm not going to see even close to what you've been able to capture in these pictures, so it's um, really awesome. See, one of the things that I discovered 
is that pictures like these birds down mm -hmm. here, they're easier to take from the car because animals, apparent deer, and especially the bigger ones, are used to ant are used to cars. Right. If you try to walk up to them, they think, "Oh, huh. I'm in deep." So you trouble. just roll the window down and roll snap it right out the window. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. This one's really nice. I love these type of frame for the canvas. Yes, ones. that's cool. This, the, I have a whole bunch of lilies that I've taken. Most of them are off Island Lake Road. Oh, all right. And I call this ready. I'm in it for the Monet. Ah, I'm in it for the Monet. Very yes. nice. Very yeah. nice. I've got to have a little, we got to have a couple with a pun in the name. Oh, of sure. course. Very cool. Um, Lots more pottery here. Yeah, this is some, this is some of the, th one of the things I think we are really cool is that we have a whole bunch of, this is um, Royal Hager. It's um, mid fifties, mid, as they say, mid century modern, or when I was in grade school. <laughs> um, and it's just artistic and it's nice. It says it's a, yeah, earth raffle. That's very cool. And one of my favorite oh, things is, yes. That one's so cool. That's um, on Liberty, just before one of the, wrong, I can't think of the name of it, which road it is, but it has Steinbeck. I knew okay. it has a, Steinbach? Yeah, Steinbach, I don't know, Stein, yeah, that's an A, I don't know. Yeah, Who knows? Uh, it's one of the German, German roads. Very cool, very cool. We put the German roads. Yeah, there. one of my favorite things right here. The chalkware clown? Yes. I'm going to tell you, Larry, that's terrifying. Just right off the bat. you got to get a shot of this thing. Did you see this thing? It's so scary. <laughs> but then again, you know, each person, I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. You're a wimp. Oh, I know. And we've got a few things you just kind of odd I've run across over this. It is um, from Frost. I can't remember. Gwen Frostick? Gwen Frostick. Gwen Frostick. I can't say it. Gwen Frostick's yeah. etchings. She is quite well known. She yeah. was in the Michigan Women's Hall of Fame. Oh, very cool. It's quite accredited or has won lots of things. It's very cool. And this is one of, oh, my, gosh, this yes. is one of my favorites. This is Four Mile Lake. Mm. And it's so pretty. Yes. Got them right in the takeoff. And my favorite M&Ms. Of course. Mm. Yeah. You charge yeah. thirty four dollars for those M and M's, Larry. That's a I'll give you the bowl too. Oh, okay. All right. The bowl comes with it. I see. <laughs> yes. Okay. And they started out just as the pandemic was starting. There was a project that was going on. I don't know what happened to it. Taking pictures of barns inside Chelsea City, city mm. limits. This one is taken a block over. As is. Where's the other one? There's another. I have a couple of prints of it. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. And well, just blocks from here. But they stopped doing it though? I, I, I assume. Yeah. You know, I'm all, I hate to say it, but I'm afraid because it, I'm afraid it's like thinking about somebody you've gone to school with uh, when you get to be my age mm -hmm. and going, should I look them up and see how they're doing? What if they're not doing anymore? What if they're not doing anymore? Yeah, yeah that's so it's kind of, it's kind of hesitating. Hesitate. And these things, Little ducklings? Yes. And this is one of my, yes, that's <laughs> getting right in there. And this, I don't know if you can get that with the glare, but that's also on Four Mile Lake. That's very cool. That one's very calming. Been, that one was picked by uh, Frames Magazine, which is online, mm -hmm. as the picture of the month a couple months ago. That's awesome. Yes. Well, you got some great stuff here, Larry. Thanks for letting us take a look around. Yeah. Thank you. Um, You're welcome. Yeah, and uh, I look forward to stopping by sometime soon. I, I've learned a long time ago that I don't buy anything for the house without bringing the girl because, well, I end up having to return it. Yeah, so uh, apparently, my taste isn't what I think it is. Yeah. But, uh, but this is great, and you know, we got sounds and sights coming up, and uh, you could not be in a better location. So, everybody yes. out there, when you guys are out taking a walk around town, make sure to stop in. You're here most days. What hours do you uh, have right now? General. Right now, it's 11 to. 5.30 or so. Nice. As, it, as the summer goes on, I will probably extend it. Sure. We're currently closed Monday and Tuesday so that I can actually Have a life. go get some pictures. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can't be here all day. You can't really take pictures of your studio and, and frame them. I have a free Facebook page and you can always, and my page, you can see the pictures hmm. that I've taken each morning. 
Great. I took 16 this morning. And you put them up on Facebook right away? Yes. Very cool. So then they can come in before you've even got them printed? Yes. Very cool. Okay, well. Sweet. Well, thank, thank you, Larry. And uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. And thank you to Grifka Marketing for sponsoring and uh, facilitating, as always. And we'll see you guys all next week. Have a great one.